Peace, love, and light family. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are. I know the sun is shining wherever you are. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, let's get into your messages at this time. Okay, Scorpio, this message is for you. Okay, the magician's coming up for you. You have some manifesting power here, ascended master. Hmm, you've, you've got some abilities, Scorpios. Okay, some things are showing up for you right away here as the magician. Mm-hmm, as the magician. Okay, let's see. What message do you have? Scorpios, this is what's showing up in in your energy. Mm, soul tribes coming together. You are uniting with a king of swords. You are becoming family. You are becoming one. Uh, this is an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Ah, Scorpios, I just love how nature tends to confirm what we say. Nature is confirming this, that you are coming together. You are uniting, becoming one, becoming a community. Mm, I'm hearing commitment. You are, this commitment is very serious. Um, Spirit is saying, take it seriously. This has to do with your crown chakra. I'm hearing something about your crown chakra. Um... Okay, so Spirit has a message regarding this person who's in your life. This King of Swords is not just anyone that, that the Divine has given you. You see this crow that is seated above this King of Swords. The Divine, this is his or hers <laughs> ancestor, Spirit guys, that is watching over him and presiding over this relationship. And Spirit is specifically pointing out information regarding their ancestors at this time. And they want you to assure to take this relationship seriously. There's a lot of creating, creative energy, creative power in this relationship. A lot of creative power. Um, Scorpios, you get to know that um, your creative power either enhances or or diminishes based on the energies that you are around. I'm hearing information about Neptune, ideals and intuition. Your intuition is going to be increasing. This person that you are involved with could also be closely connected to the planet Neptune. Um, I'm hearing information, of course, there in air sign, either Libra, Gemini or Aquarius, more so either Libra or Gemini energy. I'm really seeing either Libra or Gemini. Either one of those signs um, may be the person that you are connected to. Um, in any case, I'm hearing that you are uniting. You are forming a union. You are creating. <laughs> you're creating your own community away from the conflicts. This is your cycle of fortune. Mm-hmm. Uh, no more sitting at the crossroads, this person. <laughs> I'm hearing that this person is someone that you may have even met at the crossroads where you were at a point where you were considering, you know, being, I'm, I'm hearing going solo, going dolo, being, you know, uh, staying to yourself, focusing on your spirituality. And here comes this King of Swords, okay? Here comes this King of Swords, and once they came, you know, with their sword in their hand and their spirit guide, you began to celebrating on the you began celebrating on the inside out. Um, hearing extreme amount of joy for you. Okay, tell me about the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands. Um, hmm. There's a lot of changes coming for you in your family dynamic. A lot of changes in your family dynamic. Some good news. Mm -hmm. Your family dynamic is about to change. Um, I'm hearing that you are gaining a family. You are gaining a whole family with this person. Again, you see this um, heart chakra energy is coming out with the Knight of Sword. Uh, Knight of Swords, you know, emphasizing 
your heart chakra building your heart chakra as a result of your involvement in this um union your coming together with this union is something that was divinely uh orchestrated divinely put together this person is going to allow you to change your financial circumstances where you were possibly in a position of financial lack the divine is coming in to bring you good news um, so this may be, you know, you may be receiving uh, an upgrade in terms of your, you know, financial status, in terms of, you know, bringing your finances together. Uh, the divine is also saying something about your dreams coming true. Uh, whatever it was that may have been delaying, I'm hearing that some of you, there was a delay in... Um, creating a family this is you Scorpios perhaps this felt like it was something that was you know not moving as fast as it could have and the divine is changing that for you it's a lot of good news um, coming in for you look at this new beginnings which is ace of wands showing up for you and your energy the four of wands this is community this is family this is engagement this is this is marriage scorpios this is a union this is a divine union okay um, again spirit is saying take this seriously take it seriously many of you know okay tell me about this king of wands king i said king of wands but it's a king of swords okay there may be something significant about a king of wands too perhaps this person may be in the king of wands energy Hmm. Uh, they they may have some they may have some stuff that's unresolved. Okay, this King of Wands may have some past stuff that's unresolved uh, that they're dealing with, and that spirit wants you to have patience with them. Uh, and this is this person, this King of Wands, may have experienced some um, issues, or challenges around finances okay there's some past issues around finances that are showing up for this person um there's also some concerns regarding repeating the same mistakes that's showing up There's also an energy of, hmm, there's, there's definitely some past issues showing up for this individual. And Spirit is clearly showing you this to know what you're working with, okay? Um, this person may also be an emperor. And there's something that they're needing to work on in their emperor energy to boost their power, to boost their discipline. I'm hearing that there may be some, some stuff around discipline. Okay, and it's fitting that the emperor shows up because this is Aries energy. Okay, these are some things that are um, Spirit is wanting you to know that you're not dealing with someone that's perfect. Okay? You're not dealing with someone that's perfect. There are some... There are some past stuff, things, underlying things that you are going to be noticing about this person. And it's all showing up here, you know, with this four pentacles, this seven of pentacles okay they may have some challenges regarding you know just kind of taking the initiative to do stuff so basically you're dealing with someone that with you i'm hearing they're going to recognize their power as a person they're going to you're going to help them to recognize 
their power as their as this emperor okay this is a king of swords i'm hearing and king of swords more so in the energy um of element wise okay this is an air sign and these are some of the things they're dealing with some past stuff um perhaps haven't been taken advantage of um uh having some challenges around taking the initiative to do things okay uh really working on their power you know building on their power as an emperor and i'm hearing that this dynamic is is one that's going to this energy is really focused on this person that's coming towards you um and their ability to really love and care for you okay they're going to be able to love and care for you and spirit is saying that you know they've got some stuff that they're working on as everyone does additional message regarding this reading okay traditional okay so this is the hierophant showing up additional message trust your intuition trust your intuition and this also this hierophant coming out this overall energy is about this commitment that you're coming into this commitment is bringing together a family you your spiritual guides are uniting you with this person and you are becoming a family this is not just someone that is this is not just anyone okay this is someone that the divine handpicked for you but i'm hearing but they and they got some challenges they got some challenges and this is what you're dealing with they're working on their spirituality okay while they're working on this commitment and most importantly this person is here to bring change to you they're here to bring positive changes to your life specifically in your family dynamics you know uh they are here to add to what you have not take away from from you um this person is here to mm, they're here to help you progress they're here to help you build momentum and energy okay that's what i'm hearing okay so this is what spirit is saying okay oh. the divine has brought you a king of pentacles this is someone who is well to do but you may not know it okay this is someone who is well to do and you may not know it and you know this person this person's energy is one that's very calm is what i'm hearing okay um they are in the process of healing as you are and while you are healing you're going to be coming together in a union with this three of cups here to celebrate this new union that you have coming together and that is what spirit has for you okay scorpio let's see what the divine is saying about this reading um, yeah, I'm hearing that it, it's possible that there is an ancestor of this person that is really, that saw the potential in you and bringing you together in this relationship. This ancestor trusted you and this bird right here represents this ancestor, okay? That's who is presiding. <laughs> this is beautiful okay number 22 this is this person is possibly an ascended master as well okay scorpio's Inganyama is showing up number 22 honor of the ancient king mm, yes this person is a king they're an emperor they are of royal blood you this is that person okay that spirit told you about scorpios they are of royal blood okay this is what's showing up okay so this is what's showing up uh ingonyama this oracle indicates awakening and the healing and strengthening of divine masculine energy within the soul for taking the initiative and leading with wisdom 
healing masculinity is relevant at both physical and psychological levels. To love and make peace with the masculine allows it to become dynamic and expressive of integrity, purpose, justice, and protection. Acknowledge your power, do not play small, conserve your energy, get plenty of rest, but when the time is right, let your soul roar and your true voice be heard without hesitation or fear. You are a protector and leader of others. Allow your spiritual connection to awaken your courage and boldness. Refuse to be hope, refuse to be put down. Trust in the dignity and divine within. In Zulu, Ingonyama means lion, yet it's not a simple translation. It also refers to a natural proposition of power, kingly leadership, which entails the wisdom of justice and mercy is implied. This word alludes to divine masculine, actively expressed to right the wrongs of the world. This divine masculine potency within men and women defends the sacred feminine by putting in the energy, action, and commitment required to bring her values to life. Divine masculine consciousness is essential for us to conquer procrastination, hesitation, fear, doubt, and inertia. It's the power of the sword of discernment, integrity, strength, and honesty. It's the ability to protect and defend what is worthy. It's not about dominating the world, but about moving powerfully amongst it. For a position of inner spiritual connection to the wisdom of the sacred feminine that is always revealing the way. The Oracle of Inganyama brings you lion medicine. Lion is an archetypal energy of raw power, strength and fearlessness. Lions carry powerful energy for those that need to be seen and heard in positions of leadership. Be fearless and as you trust in spirit in spiritual power which is more than enough for any divine purpose that needs to be accomplished express your true voice and affirm your intentions the voice of the spirit is louder than any other voice within or around you it is the most powerful most far-reaching in impact like the roar of the lion the spiritual voice will be heard and take effect casting off any darkness seeking to impede your purpose and the purpose of those that you love and protect this is a time and place when the feminine must come to the fore. Likewise, there is a time when the masculine is required. This is not about men and women, but masculine traits within men and women. You are being asked to utilize masculine traits for success. Whew. Wow. The feminine will then be able to flourish. These masculine traits include discernment, decisive action, creating order, clearing away what is no longer effective and allowing the new to emerge from the place the space created. It may seem that you are being held to a higher standard than others. This is because you have a greater potential to evoke an effect. Higher standards of inner accountability form a spiritual safeguard so that power which is so easily corruptive, corruptible is expressed in a way that increases light by serving the divine rather than our own even well-meaning agendas. Mm. this is about cultivating okay this is a message this is really a message uh, for you and your divine masculine okay i'm speaking to the divine feminine uh scorpios this is a message for your divine masculine and masculines this is for your divine feminine to take hold of that divine masculine energy because both feminine and masculines have divine masculine energy and taking hold of that energy and taking you know putting that energy at the forefront is what's going to allow the divine feminine energy to flourish and this is the message that spirit has for you scorpios if this message resonates please like comment share and subscribe until next time love, peace, and divine